Hello my friends, Kate here. Today I will show you how to crochet a small flower ornament. It's easy to follow and quick to make. You can use it as an applique or make a bunch of them and join together to make a garland. On my website you will find a written pattern for this project. The links are in the description box below. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell button to never miss a video. For this tutorial I used DMC cotton yarn and a 3mm crochet hook, but you can use any yarn with a corresponding hook. I start with a slip knot and 6 chain stitches. You can also use the magic ring method if you like. Now create a loop with your starting chain by closing it with a slip stitch like so. Now make one chain stitch and work 15 single crochet stitches inside the loop. It's a lot, so you will probably have to help yourself by squeezing them together a bit. If you used the magic ring method to start, just work these single crochets into the adjustable loop. To finish this round, make a slip stitch into your first single crochet, like so. Now make 5 chain stitches. Skip two stitches and make a slip stitch into the third one. This is your repeat for this round. Five chain stitches, skip two, one slip stitch. Repeat it so that you've got five chain spaces in total. As you can see here, I've got my last chain ready. I attach it with a slip stitch in the base of the first chain of the round. On to the last round. Make two chain stitches yarn over and work two double crochet stitches into the loop. Now work three treble crochet stitches. So yarn over twice and work the loops two by two.
Now we need to make a picot, so make 3 chain stitches. And make one slip stitch into the first chain stitch. I worked it in the back bump. Now we need to repeat everything on the other side but in a reversed order. Start with making 3 treble crochets. Now make 3 double crochets. Why 3 and not 2? Because we started this round with a turning chain of 2 chain stitches, which worked like 1 double crochet. Our first petal is nearly finished. All we need to do is to make one slip stitch in between the chain spaces. Repeat it in each loop, so 4 more times. I will meet you at the end of this round. Your last stitch is one slip stitch worked between the petals. And that's all! Your little flower is ready. You can use it as an applique or join a bunch of them together with a piece of string to make a garland. Of course, the kind of yarn you choose will highly impact the look and size of the piece. I like to tie the ends of the yarns in the back, but you can weave in the ends using any method you like. As I mentioned before, on my website you will find the written pattern for this project. All the links are in the description box below. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or would like to see more, please leave suggestions and feedback down below. Thanks and have a creative day!